What's up guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to Daily Dose of Transfer Gossip and today is the Sunday the 6th of August and it might be quite a short episode today because at this point in time recording not much has happened. Something might pop up between now and how I'm actually editing the video but we'll have to wait and see. So just before we get started today, as always, if you can show your support by leaving a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome. Remember, 1,000 likes is the title for today's video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and press the button next to it to receive notifications about my videos. If you missed yesterday's video, it'll be down below in the description box. And today's question of the day, what are your overall thoughts of the Neymar transfer to PSG? So let me know your answers down below in the comments section. But now, let's jump on to confirmed deals. The very first player is it called Chris Long, got out to Northampton Town from Burnley for the season. In fact, there are five confirmed deals in this video today, but four of them are loan deals. And that's what I mean by saying not much has already happened. Next up, we go on to a player for Orlando City now, called Yoshimir Uton, who's a Peruvian player. And he has joined them from Malmo for an undisclosed fee. Next up, we move on to Lucas Stenios. I apologize if I said that wrong, by the way. But he's joined Vitesse from Sporting in Portugal. Again, a loan deal. I think this is the same player as a silver back on FIFA 12 or FIFA 13 for Inter Milan. And now we've got a player, in my opinion, with a very cool name called Rolando Mandragora, going on loan to Crotone from the Avengers for the season. And the final confirm today is it going to another loan deal. This time it's Nicholas and Kulu going to Torino from Lyon for the season. So it turns out there's one more confirmed transfer to go through, and that player is Jeremy Lons going to Besiktas in Turkey from Sunderland for an undisclosed fee. I just finished editing today's episode. I checked Twitter and saw this on there. Besiktas, they've done it again. And what I mean by that is the announcement video for him, their video for announcing Alvaro Negredo, it went viral on this one, it's doing the same. And I move on to potential deals. The very first player is it going to Ben Gibson from Middlesbrough, today linked to Man City according to the Daily Mail. They're saying that Man City is stepping up their interest in Middlesbrough skipper Ben Gibson, who right now also linked to West Brom. I'm pretty sure I read someone the other day saying West Brom, they bid near £20 million for him, but it was rejected as Middlesbrough, they're holding out for 25 and to be fair, Pep did say a few days ago that potentially he might summon one more defender and Ben Gibson, he might be that man. Next up, we go on to Cameron Borthwick-Jackson into Leeds United today according to Sky Sports. They are saying that Cameron Borthwick-Jackson has completed medical at Leeds ahead of a season-long loan from Manchester United. It wasn't under Jose Mourinho, but before that, under Louis van Gaal, Borthwick Jackson was getting a fair amount of football, first team football. And another player in that same situation is a one called Guillermo Varela. I think last year was playing the Bundesliga for Frankfurt on loan, but now he's said to leave Manchester United now on a three year deal to sign with Penarol. It does say Reed Johnson must be a former team of his, and United have inserted a sell on clause in the deal. Another one for a Sky Sports today is it going to the goalkeeper Adrian from West Ham United. So probably right now is the second choice goalkeeper behind Joe Hart. I think Darren Randolph was sold to Middlesbrough, so they may have to bring one more in. But Sky said Newcastle are targeting a deal to sign goalkeeper Adrian from West Ham United. Yesterday they were linked to Carrasso, a former Bordeaux goalkeeper. And they can still get him, but as of right now Adrian could be their next target. Then we move on to Andreas Christensen of Chelsea. And according to Tuto Sport today, Chelsea defender Andreas Christensen looks like to be part of a deal to bring Antonio Candreva to Stamford Bridge. And because of the amount of potential that Christensen does have about him, one of the best up and coming centre backs right now, I don't think I'd give in to him on a permanent basis. It'd probably be a loan deal. And I think Candreva is like 30 years old as well. So again, it wouldn't make too much sense giving Christensen on a permanent basis. Next up, we go on to Danny Drinkwater, then to Chelsea today. The Times are saying Leicester City midfielder Danny Drinkwater is ready to tell the club he wants to join Chelsea. Antonio Conte appears to be a very big fan of his. A lot of people are saying he would be a replacement for Nemanja Matic. That's not the case. That replacement was Bakayoko and Danny Drinkwater. It'd most likely be the replacement for Chalabar or Loftus-Cheek. And the next player into Chelsea today is it going to Van Dijk. Obviously a massive Liverpool target so far this summer. And as of right now, he's still refusing to play for Southampton. Pellegrino did mention a couple days ago that Van Dijk, he doesn't want to be part of the squad right now. And imagine at some point in the very near future, Southampton, they'll have to let him go at some point. They will get a massive amount of money for him because if Southampton do say they're willing to listen to offers for him, Liverpool, they'll come back in from Chelsea. They'll obviously bid as well. And there might be a bit of a bidding war there. But Jim White said yesterday that Chelsea want two more players before the end of the transfer window. Top targets are Virgil van Dijk and Danny Drinkwater. 
The evening standard saying Chelsea still hope to beat Liverpool to the signature or Southampton's 26-year-old captain, Van Dijk. The rumoured fee that Chelsea are apparently willing to pay for him is around £50 million, but for Liverpool, they may have to pay like 65 to 70. And next up, according to Day Mirror, Everton will make a bid to sign Danny Welbeck if they can't complete a deal for Olivier Giroud. Ronald Koeman is on the lookout for a new frontman after selling Lukaku to Manchester United and Welbeck and Giroud are the main two targets right now. Then we move on to jean michel Serri. According to Mudo Deportivo today, Barca want Nice's Ivory Coast midfielder Serri, who is also being pursued by Arsenal. His release clause at Nice is still €40 million. Euros. I think last year was voted one of the best centre mids in Ligue 1. But still, after Barca sold Neymar, been into so many different players. Next up, we move on to Mario Lamina. Uh, yesterday's video, I think, was linked to Stoke City, but according to Sky Today and also RMC, Southampton have agreed a deal to sign Mario Lamina from Juventus. He's expected to undertake a medical on Monday and will cost the club £16 million plus add-ons which could rise it to 20 mil. The Juventus manager Allegri has confirmed today in his post-match conference that the player will leave the club. That first part was from Sky Sports News, the second bit is it from RMC and their center fee is £16.2 million and medical will be today. And next up, Mahrez has told Sky he's looking to finalize a move away from Leicester this month. He handed in a transfer request at the end of last season and so far, two bits from Roma have been rejected. And the quotes from Mahrez on Sky Sports News are saying, I know Roma came in, but nothing was accepted so there's little I can do. They are a great club who I'd like to talk to, but I can't until Leicester accept a deal. Leicester know my thoughts, but I'll continue to give my best for a club as I always have. And then he goes on to mention how it's nice to be linked to big clubs, but as of right now, no bid's been accepted so he can't speak to anyone. And now Calcio and Mercato are reporting that Inter Milan will continue their summer rebuild by pipping Manchester United and Chelsea to the signature of Paris Saint-Germain fullback Sergio Aurier. The former Toulouse man is said to be available in summer, the Ligue 1 side looking to sell players to balance the books following the arrival of Neymar. That and the fact they have three right backs being Dani Alves, Aurier and Munier. And now we've got a lot of different contradictory reports regarding Coutinho and potential move to Barcelona. So the very first one is according to being sports. But they're saying Coutinho is just a few hours away from becoming a Barca player. And at the time we're recording this video, the article right there, that came out probably about four or five hours ago. So if Coutinho isn't a Barca player by the time this video goes live, then that rumor is simply not true. And keep on topic of Coutinho, but on your screen, is it going to be Dybala? So apparently according to Corre Dello Sport today and Gazeta Dello Sport, they're both reporting that Argentina international Dybala is now the top of Barca's transfer list. And the headline itself does mention that Barca have ended interest in Coutinho. And Gazeta Dello Sport are also saying that Messi has reportedly told Barca he wants to sign two players, Di Maria and Dybala. The former looks unlikely to happen, but the La Liga side believe they could tempt Juventus into selling Dybala and are prepared to offer players in exchange. Andre Gomez and Rafinha are both being linked to a move to Turin as part of a deal that could take Dybala to Barca. And now we've got even more contradictory reports today about Gareth Bale and potential move to Manchester United. So first up, according to Daily Express, Gareth Bale has reportedly told his Real Madrid teammate Luka Modric he wants to leave the club. Now this applies to pretty much every single rumour where apparently one player has told another player he wants to leave. And that is possibly that could have happened. Bale might have told Modric he wants to leave the club, but would Luka Modric then go to a paper like Daily Express and say, you know what, Bale's told me this. I mean, the obvious answer is just no. Don Ballon in Spain has said Real Madrid will consider selling Gareth Bale to United if they include David De Gea as part of the deal. And the final one about Bale today is according to The Guardian. They are saying that Real Madrid have assured Wales midfielder Gareth Bale that he is the future of the club in a move that will disappoint Manchester United. And next up we've got a story that came out last night saying Danny Alves has said Neymar told him last month to move to Paris Saint-Germain as he was considering his own move to the French capital. Danny Alves was very much favourite to go to Man City, but he ended up going to PSG on July 12th. And that was just five days before the first report broke that Neymar will also consider PSG. But Alves says Brazilian teammate let him know earlier than that he's considering a move to Paris. And the quotes do say, I talked to him about the possibility, he recommended me to come here, he suggested I come to the club. I said I wanted to leave Juventus and he was thinking of coming here. And the final today is about Mbappe as a very short one from social media. So basically yesterday he tweeted out a picture of him and Leroy Sané saying, nice to meet you bro. Now of course with Mbappe being linked to Man City, a lot of City fans on Twitter, they got very excited about that. They were trying to work out why Sané and Mbappe were together, but most likely it's just a Nike event. And then Man City's Benjamin Mendy actually tweeted to Mbappe about the picture as the City fans right now has got a gif of Elmo. 
But that is going to be the final one for today's video. So as always, if you enjoyed it, show support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. Remember, 1,000 likes is the title for today's video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to click that subscribe button for daily FIFA content and press the notifications tab next to it to receive notifications about my videos. If you missed yesterday's video, will be down below in the description box. And today's question of the day, what are your thoughts on Neymar's transfer to PSG? So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.